I want you to sit there and imagine the worst people on the planet. Becky from accounting, the one IT guy at your office who does nothing but sit at his desk all day playing old ROM hacks of Final Fantasy. Murderers and serial killers. They're all awful, awful people. <laughs> but I have one more that's worse. Clout chasers. People who try to do, who do anything just to get attention on the internet. To me, they are the literal scum of humanity and I hate them. <laughs> Because all they ever do is just do stupid things and just to go viral and maybe make a bit of cash. To me, it is just the worst thing on the planet and it needs to die out. Today, I have a really awful story to you. There was a TikTok challenge recently and it wasn't good at all. So a while ago on TikTok, if you aren't aware, TikTok says challenges and the challenges go viral. I don't know. I don't watch TikTok. It's all cringe. I just get this stuff because people, I get it sent to me by my elves and slaves. We're going to call I can't say that slave. Hmm. I get it sent to me by my employees. I've heard of some really terrible challenges over the internet before, like tie pods, but at least when you there's a tie pod challenge, the only person getting hurt is you. In this recent one, a random guy punched a guy in the back of the head. Two men did that. So let's just watch the video of, uh, of a recent TikTok and let's just go over it because that's the only thing I can really say. I have nothing else to say to this other than, wow, that is just fucking awful. A video posted to TikTok and then next door shows 19 year old Alfred Lewis sucker punching a stranger at Wortham Park in Northwest Houston. Ooh, man. What the f- I don't- Dude, that is like- I mean, it's not a huge hit and it wasn't like he, you know, knew how to punch, obviously. But it doesn't really need to be. Have you ever heard of uh, king hitting before? I don't know if that's outside of Australia, but when someone's drunk and they like, you know, you punch him in the back of the head or it's known as a donkey punch, it's really bad. You can kill someone doing that really easily. It only takes one punch for someone in the back of the head, especially if they're not prepared. They're not standing for it. They're not exactly uh, stable in that moment and they knock over and they hit their head. It's really bad. And this, <laughs> fuck, what the fuck? Like genuinely, why? So you decide you you got on TikTok, you wanted to get famous, and you decided to go out and just attack someone. You're a fucking sociopath. Oh fucking hell, that that is actually just sociopathic behavior. What the fuck? Dude, I, Lewis I, sucker punching a stranger at Worth Park in Northwest Houston. Yeah, I mean. The video makes anyone who frequents the place a little nervous. Bro, I <laughs> You're a little nervous. I'm fucking nervous. I think everyone on the planet is now looking out for these fucking dumbass pranksters and TikTokers. Like they were in, they're in the gym now. Whenever you go there and they're like recording stuff for Insta, that's mostly okay. Unless if someone's trying to bully you on the internet, if you care about that, fair enough. I think it sucks, but I think if someone's just recording their workout, whatever, right? It's not like I really have to care about it, as long as they're not like one of those people that get mad if they walk past. But now I went out in public. I, see, I have major trust issues. Like, seriously, major trust issues. The other day I went out for a massage and I was worried that they were going to kill me in Minecraft. That's how my brain works with trust issues. Now whenever I'm walking out in public, I'm going to be worried I'm going to get punched in the back of the head by some fucking dumbass from just trying to get famous on TikTok. If someone does this to you, beat the shit out of them. Because if you if you don't die from that, they could have killed you. And by all means, that's self-defense at that point. If they stop, you know, just go for it. That's what I believe. Because that is fucked. That is fucked. Oh, look at that. And he's like grabbing the back of his head. You could have given him a fucking, I don't know if you can give him a concussion like that, but you could have. And he's so fucking proud of himself too. Dude, why? You can tell by the way he's like standing. Unfortunately, it's the word. Both suspects are now charged. Lewis behind bars, Mike. Good, give him the death wanted. penalty in Minecraft. I don't know if you can tell because it's now bright outside, but it is now jet from the future. I am now here because I am no longer depressed from watching all this content. However, you're about to go back to Jet in the past who was depressed from watching that content. I just wanted to quickly say the two people who were involved with this and the man who did the punching in said video has been charged and is behind bars. Now, in fairness, it probably is only an assault charge. I would like to argue they should probably be put behind bars for a little bit longer just so they can learn what they did is actually wrong. I also just wanted to quickly say, if for some reason you're watching this, this video and you want to make TikToks, specifically in the dangerous acts category, just know this one little thing. There is zero point. Most of the people are just going to think that you're a dumbass, an idiot, or just a sociopath. There's no reason to do that. 
You, everyone's just going to think that you're attention seeking or a clout chaser. Because by all means, if it's illegal or dangerous, TikTok is just going to take it down. You're not going to get seen as someone who has a good personality. You're not going to be seen as a good person either. If you want to build a content creation channel, you have to be someone who people can stand behind. And again, that can be someone who is bad, but in most cases, it has to be a good person. And differently, it has to be someone who a bunch of people can get behind their views. It probably sounds ridiculous, but it's just how it is. You're not going to stand behind a bad person unless you yourself are a bad person. But I can promise you, if you want to be famous, there are a lot more good people out there than there are bad people. Back to past jet. Genuinely, this is why I like countries that have that so aggressively. So you just get people not... I'm sorry, I know they don't deserve that specifically. No one deserves that. But it just makes me so angry that that was just a random person living his life and you just punched him in the back of the fucking head. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with these people? It saddens my heart because of how the world has changed and how people have just gone. <laughs> It sounds you out the world has changed. Cloud chases, babe. Cloud chases. I hate them so much. People have just become. From theft to drinking borax, videos encouraging dangerous behavior aren't rare. TikTok removes millions of videos from their platform monthly. They keep track of why those videos are removed in three month increments. Their data shows from July to September of 2022, 6.5% of videos removed were for. Ah! and dangerous acts and wow october they added a new category just for dangerous acts and challenges which made up five percent of the videos removed that number growing to 5.2 percent from january to march of this how many video how many videos are on tiktok uh about 8.6 billion holy 5.2 percent of 8.6 billion 5.2 percent of that number is 447 million 200 000 videos are just dangerous acts if the videos just get taken down why why would the ball why <laughs> bruh why it's obvious that the internet is just going down a fucking a shit rabbit hole all i'm gonna say is this is awful and i hope they stay behind bars forever because this is just terrible I i'm sorry if it's if it's dark or the light is really bad i'm currently changing like you know moving countries i am befuddled i have no words and i'm sorry everyone because normally I'd, i would I if you have anything that you would like to say about this uh do leave it in the comments i think this is all just awful i genuinely cannot believe why someone would do this stay stay safe out there everyone and now look out for dick they just dickheads doing pranks and, and TikTok challenges, wherever you go. Because this is stupid. That is like the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. I hope everyone can try to have a good rest of their day. Maybe hit the subscribe button, I don't know. Bye.